Hi there, I've just driven through uh, Church Stretton in Shropshire, try to stay on that quickly, um, and uh, I've arrived at Cardon Mill Valley. It's quite a popular place for walkers and hikers. Um, lots of trails around here. It's got a nickname uh, locally as Little Switzerland because of its beautiful rolling hills and uh, so on. We're going to start off at the car park and uh, which I think costs for a day I think it's a set rate of £5.50 um, I believe but if you're a National Trust member uh, it's free parking. We're just about to start off on a circular route which um, we've downloaded from the All Trails app. I've got to say, it's a really nice day for hiking because uh, it's not direct sunlight, it's uh, it's nice and warm. I think when I left the car, it was around about 20 degrees, 20 to 22, um, but it's slightly raining, nice and refreshing. Ideal conditions for a, for a hike. Walkers are welcome at the golf course here and they even invite you in for refreshments at the clubhouse. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, we have golf balls coming from your left. Okay. Please ring the bell twice. And then we'll quickly cross the path in front of you for 80 meters. Golfers are heading down the green to your right side. Once they hear the bell, they will stop play until you've crossed. Okay. Take it, there's the green. Must be where they're coming from. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> oh, don't let me disturb you. Hi, uh, you guys waiting to tee off? Okay, carry on. got to say when you're walking through a, a golf course when you're on a hike you got to sort of be careful where you're treading and uh, and look out for incoming missiles <laughs> so have a look we're using the Garmin Instinct 2 solar we've got a breadcrumb route on there which uh, seems to be working fine I've got to say, this stretch is pretty hard going. It's really humid, so it's making it quite a struggle. I keep stopping to catch my breath. Oh, I do, it's pretty steep, so look forward to getting to the top and seeing what we can see from up there. Well, we've just come up, come up here, but we're not to the, we haven't got to the top yet. And that's pretty stunning already. You can see for miles. Sign there says that way. I take it it's that way. 
me a uh, quick check on the watch. Yep, breadcrumb route says this way. May I pass, please, sir? Or ma'am? Whichever the case may be. Thank you. Oh, what we got here? <laughs> Wonder what that was. Well, just come up that valley down there to our left. One of the hills that uh, go right across Shropshire, they're classified as an area of outstanding natural beauty. My course has taken me off the beaten track. And it's sending me up there. I think I may have plotted one of the highest points, so I'm going to carry on. stopped to have a quick bite to eat and uh, just got to remember if you do go out your, for your hiking if you bring it with you you bag it and take it away just don't leave any trace feel some rain on the in the air now so see in the distance over there got the valley you can't see in the valley anymore because of the rain coming across looks like we're going to get wet and just as predicted here it comes
So once you've finished your hike, then uh, you may fancy a nice perhaps hot cup of tea, cup of coffee, hot chocolate, cake, or a small meal. Um, and just down here we have the uh, tea rooms, toilets, and uh, also if you want to sign up for the uh, National Trust, that's where you can do it. And let it rain. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Here we are. We've got the toilet area here, and also just next to it, there's the uh, cafe, so you can have refreshments and rest those weary legs. Okay, and here we are, back at the car. So we've now completed our walk. Thanks for watching. I hope you join me on the next one. And if you like the videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, as it really does help out the channel, motivates me to get on to the next one. Let's just have a quick look at a summary as what we've done today, and see you at the next time.